So how do you find your voice as a preacher? This is something that every preacher, especially when you're new to preaching, struggles with. Like the feeling of, who am I when I speak? What does my voice sound like? What is my unique way of doing this? And sometimes we can be very frustrated because we feel like, and I've been preaching for a long time and I still don't quite feel natural. I don't really feel myself when I get up to preach. And there are some specific reasons why this is the case, which I wanna dive into. And then I wanna give you three simple things that you can do to, to begin finding your voice, which I think is gonna be a really important thing to look at it like a journey, okay? You're not just gonna one day be like, ah, my voice, there it is. It's a journey, it's a process, and I wanna give you the tools to kind of walk through that and also to be able to know what are the things that stand in the way of finding your voice as a preacher. That's what we're gonna dive into in this video. My name's Lane, it's so awesome to have you joining me today. Thanks so much for being here. If you would, please subscribe to this channel. It really helps out because not only does it allow you to see videos, you don't miss out on them, but it also signals to the YouTube gods, small g, <laughs> that they should shine favorably upon me, that the preaching donkey is doing something really good in the world and the message needs to spread. And all jokes aside, I really do want these videos to reach more pastors because I believe that we have the most important message in the world, the gospel, and I wanna make sure it's heard. And so, if you help me out by subscribing to this video, or subscribing to this channel and liking this video, that would be awesome and it would be a way just to say thank you. If you feel like I'm doing a good job here and it's encouraging you every week, and definitely do that and that would really help out what we're doing here. Okay, so let's jump into finding your voice. What are the challenges that, that go into finding your voice as a preacher? The first challenge is this, and this is huge. We imitate other preachers. And this is very natural when you're first starting. You might have preachers that you like, that you want to emulate. And so if you're like me, especially when I first got started, I had a constant stream of sermons going into my brain. I downloaded all the podcasts of all my favorite preachers and I listened to them all the time. And what would happen is I would get stuck on one particular preacher at a time where I just consume as many sermons as I could. And what I found is that when I would go to preach, I would sound like them or at least try to sound like them even if I didn't realize I was doing that. I would pick up on their mannerisms and their idiosyncrasies and I would sometimes rip off their ideas without even realizing it or citing them properly because they had become such a part of how I thought and my behavior that it just seemed natural to do what they did and say what they said. But I couldn't find who I was, I couldn't find my voice. So you might be there as well, where you listen to a lot of people or you listen to one preacher or two preachers that you're just like, man, these are the people that I follow and that it can be very difficult to find who you are. The second reason why it's challenging to find your voice as a pastor is because public speaking is unnatural. I mean, it just, it just is. To separate yourself from the pack, stand up where you're an easy target, and speak where everybody can hear you is weird, okay? There's a reason why people are terrified of public speaking, okay? So you and I, we overcame that fear because we love doing this. We're the weird ones who like to get up in front of people and, and speak, okay, and preach messages because that's the way God wired us. But you have to realize finding your voice in front of a group of people on a stage is very difficult because most of your life, is not lived on a stage. Most of your life is not lived in front of a group of people where you're speaking and everyone's listening. Most of your life is lived in conversation. And so transitioning from conversational speaking, one-on-one, -on -one, to speaking to groups of people or to crowds of people when you preach can be very difficult to say, what do I sound like when I do this? Okay, I think it's a lot the same way when I first started speaking to a camera, all right? I'm looking at a Canon T7i DSLR camera, right? And I, I'm imagining through this lens right here, this lens that I'm looking at, that you're on the other side, right? And that I'm connecting with you as if instead of talking to this camera, you were sitting here. That's the way I picture this, the way it has to work. It took me a long time to find my voice on camera in the same way that it took me a long time to find my voice when I preach. 
you don't believe me, go on this channel to the very first videos that I did, the first 5, 10, 15, 20 videos on Preaching Donkey, and you will see I was awful at talking to a camera. It was weird. I didn't know what I was doing. I'm not saying I'm great now, but I sure as heck am better than I was because I found my voice. But speaking to a camera or speaking publicly is just not natural. And I think we, we get down on ourselves because we feel like, oh, it, it should be natural. It should just come naturally to me. And we're looking at these pastors who've been preaching for so long and they're so good at it. We compare ourselves to them and we get discouraged. So that's the second reason why it's very challenging to find your voice. And the third reason is we just get impatient. We get impatient. We feel like we should preach a few sermons and just know it. Just be great at it. This is how I was when I first started preaching. I just thought, okay, I, I know what to do. I've seen them do it. I'm going to get up there and I'm just going to do it. And then you're like, okay, well, that didn't go how I thought it was supposed to go. And so we get down on ourselves and we just have to realize this takes time. So those are the challenges that we face. What is the solution? I want to give you three things that you can do to find your voice when you preach. And I think these are going to be really helpful, practical things. Number one, you got to put in the reps. Here's what I mean. You got to show up and you got to preach every opportunity that you have. This is something that over time you will start to find your voice naturally. It's not a process that you can really speed up. It's not a pro you can be intentional and you can do intentional things to make it happen, but those things only work with practice. So the very first thing that I would say is get practice speaking. Get practice preaching, get practice speaking in front of people. If you don't have a lot of opportunities to preach right now, seek them out because you need to find your voice and you can't find it unless you practice. Number two, make sure that you are listening to a variety of preachers. Do not get stuck on one person, no matter how amazing their teaching is. It only works against you in finding your voice if you're only hearing from one other person's voice. So make sure that you're listening to a variety of people, not just preachers, but also listen to speakers. Because if you listen to TED Talks, for example, you're going to get a whole different style of speaking than you will with most preaching. And this variety will help you do a few things. One, it helps you avoid getting stuck listening to one style and just imitating that one style. But the other thing is it exposes you to more ideas and more ways of thinking and more ways of speaking. And eventually your natural inclinations will start to rise to the top instead of just imitating one other person that you really like, but not being as good as them because you're not them and not being the best you that you can be because you're just trying to be them. You want to avoid all that, right? The way to avoid that is yes, listen to people, but listen to a variety of people. The other thing I would say with this is don't just listen, read read other people's sermons, read books about preaching, because when you read, you're hearing your voice. You're not hearing theirs. And so your voice starts to come to the surface because you're reading the words and not just listening to and watching what other people do when they speak. So put in the reps, listen to a variety of speakers. And then number three, get feedback that means something. Okay, here's what I mean. Get feedback from people who know what to look for. Ask your pastor if, if you're working for a pastor or if you're aspiring to preach or if you are a pastor and you're just struggling to find your voice, get a coach who can listen to you and give you meaningful feedback. This is something that I do. If you email me at lane at preachingdonkey.com, I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching and also sermon evaluation so you can check out what we do there. But whether it's me or your pastor or a friend or somebody else, get someone who knows what to look for and give you the kind of meaningful feedback that you'd need to find your voice as a preacher. If you never get feedback, if you're only watching other people's sermons and you're not watching your own along with someone else and getting the feedback necessary to make necessary changes and important changes, then you might get stuck down a path that you don't want, that's not really you, and you won't be able to improve as a preacher. So those are the three things that I would say that you can do right now to begin finding your voice. But the biggest thing is it just takes time. It's the long game. It's a marathon, not a sprint. Don't get discouraged with any, any one sermon is not worth throwing out the whole thing, right? If you mess up on one sermon or you feel like you didn't really bring it, just do better the next time, okay? This is an art and a science and it's spiritual and it's personal. And it, it, there's so many things about preaching that make it what it is. 
And if you just drill down on, oh, I, I, that, that wasn't the best that it could be. I wasn't who, I, that, I'm, that wasn't me. It wasn't my voice. Fine. Just keep working it and try the next time to just find a little bit more of who God has wired you to be. This is one of the reasons why Paul told Timothy to fulfill your ministry, your ministry, not someone else's, not your favorite preachers, yours. And the way to do that is to put in the reps, make sure that you're listening to a variety of people instead of just one. If you focus in on one, you start to imitate their idiosyncrasy. So listen to a variety of people, read maybe even more than you listen, and then make sure that you get meaningful feedback from someone who knows what they're doing. Be sure to pick up my 21 day guide to creating killer sermons. It will help you as you prepare and deliver sermons. And as you do this and practice this, it will help you find your voice. If you go to preachingdonkey.com slash 21 days, you can pick it up there and I will see you in the next video.